Welcome everyone. In order to use Log Launcher on iOS 16 for all features, you want to be running iOS version 16.1 or newer. Once you have verified that, download the Log Launcher and let's open that up. From here, we have Favorites and Log Screen. So Favorites is going to allow you to create a live activity, which will show up large on the Log Screen and on the Dynamic Islands. And then we have Log Screen, where we can create lock screen widgets. So I'm gonna start off with the lock screen widgets, then I'll show you the live activity. I recommend you learn both. So in the free mode, you can create up to two widgets here. If you wanna create more, you will need to pay. So in my case, I'm gonna tap on the triple dots, edit, and then we have choose action here. So you have featured, website URL, shortcut to run, or you can do a custom. So in my case, I'm going to select Featured. And when you select Choose Action, you can choose whatever you would like. So let's say what apps. Uh, let's say I want to open up. Uh, 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 let's say I want to open up. I want to do something else. I want to do System Settings. And I want to go to the Settings app. Once this is selected, you can change the icon to whatever you would like. You can choose if you want a larger icon or not, and if you want a round background. Once this is done, you tap on save, and in order to add this to your lock screen, you slide down from the top, long press on the empty space, you're gonna tap on customize, lock screen, add widgets, you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see the lock widget, or look launcher even, and you should see your widget show up right here. If you created multiple widgets, just slide across, you can see all these other widgets, okay? So in my case, I just tap, and now this widget is added. So let's tap on done, let's use it. Now it seemed to have glitched, or I didn't save, so I'm gonna refresh the widgets, like this, and there we go. So if you do have issues, you need to run a false refresh. And now it just opens up the settings app. Now let's move over to the live activities. So opening up the lock launcher, if you go to favorites, and then you see add, tap on add. And of course you can select an action. So I want open VPN like this. And you can just keep on adding to your heart's content. Okay. Let's do clock. And I'll do one more. So I'll do the cellular settings. Once you have, you know, all of the quick toggles you would like, you just tap on this icon here. And once that is done, and you slide down from the top, you now have this live activities like this. And when you tap on the icon, it will open up the app in question. So in this case, it opens up the clock. In this case, it goes to the mobile data settings and to the VPN settings. If you have an iPhone with dynamic island, you will also see this here. If you long press, you get the same toggles. And if you don't like this showing up, like I personally don't, you slide to the middle, you can hide the dynamic islands and you can have the live activities here. While the live activity is running, if you go back to the application in question and then tap on the, you know, the dynamic island option, you can see all of these customization available. Okay. And then you can see the examples as well. If you want to stop the live activity, you either slide down from the top, slide to the left and then clear. Or if I go back, you can see the live activities option, tap on this toggle, and then you can turn it off. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.